please subscribe to the Eyes of Owen. Fuck you. It was March 2012 and me and Clark were heading back to Patea for a three week holiday. We booked the trip with dial a flight and we was to use Eva Air and we flew out of Manchester. The flight with Eva Air cost us £454 each but this price included two nights in Sowers the Siam Hotel on Soi Bacau. When we arrived in Bangkok, we headed down to the first floor, got a taxi into Patea. The trip took about 90 minutes. It was good to be back in Patea, and we were looking forward to our first night out. After a heavy night of drinking and partying, we woke up the following morning and decided that we was going to move hotel. We had a look along Soi Bacau and eventually we turned on to Soi Diana and we came across the hotel Charlie Place. We would stay in Charlie Place for 17 nights. We were charged 790 baht a night. The rooms were clean, it was okay. The location of Charlie Place hotel was really good on the corner of Soi Bacau, Soi Diana and just across from Soi Lenki. Normally on an evening we would meet up before we went out at the bar in Charlie Place Hotel. It was an ideal place to meet and we could relax and have a couple of drinks while we were waiting for each other to get ready. Usually I would be waiting for Clark. On this particular evening, I was sat talking to a girl who I'd never seen before. She was slim, had shoulder length hair. She was wearing a nice white dress with small flowers. She was very friendly. Instantly, I decided that I really liked this girl. The more I chatted to this girl, the more I decided I liked her. Her name was Sal. I bought her a drink and all she wanted was an orange juice. Eventually Clark appeared at my side and sat down and ordered a Jack Coke. I got myself another Leo and continued talking to the girl. Clark started talking to a girl behind the bar who had spoken to her a few times. I chatted to the girl, Sal, and asked her if she liked to go bowling. She says yes. So I said, what about tomorrow night? I come back tomorrow and take you bowling. Yes, she says. Yes, I want, we can go. Okay, I will come eight o'clock tomorrow. We will go bowling. Okay, and she points. You will forget, you will forget. No, I promise I stay here at this hotel. I will come back tomorrow and we will go bowling. Okay, she said, and we did the little and that was that. It was time to go, so we settled our bills and made our way onto Soi Diana. And we're gonna to go to the beer bars at the end and have a few drinks. I said to Clark, you see the girl I was talking to? No, not really. I said, yeah, she was very nice. I'm gonna take her tomorrow. I've agreed already to take her bowling. All right, all right. I never really noticed, she says. And I, off we went, sat at the beer bars on Saturday and we had a couple of drinks but it was fairly quiet so then we made our way to Walking Street we walked across Second Road down Art Street onto Beach Road and got a BART bus to the entrance to Walking Street we walked along Walking Street and headed for Knock Bar Knock Bar was one of our favourite bars 
and we used to go in quite a lot. As we approached, a few of the girls shouted and smiled and clapped their hands. They only clapped their hands and smiled because they possibly knew they were going to get a drink. Anyway, we had a few beers, had a good time and decided to move on down to Simon's complex further down Walking Street. Not the new one, the old complex which is towards the end on the right hand side. In this complex there's maybe 12 bars, 14 bars and we made our way in and sat at the third bar along on the right hand side and got a drink. We talked to a few girls and then moved across from this bar to the Rolling Stones bar on the other side. I think it was Rolling Stones bar number four or five but I'm not sure and we got ourselves a drink there. As we were chatting Clark said to me I'm going to head back now pal I'm going to watch Liverpool and Witherspoons. Oh okay okay yeah I'll see you tomorrow so okay and off he went. I finished my drink and decided myself that I would go back to Soy Diana, sit at one of the beer bars. So that's what I did. I got myself a motorcycle taxi and headed back. I sat at a beer bar, it was quite busy, chatting to a couple of girls and then I noticed a girl I'd been talking to a few times on this trip, called her over and bought her a drink. Her name was Pim. We spent about half an hour talking and asked, then I asked her if she wanted to go for some food and for a look round she says yeah. So I took her out of the bar and we just wandered around. By the time I got back to my room it was getting towards four o'clock. It was now about one o'clock, half past one, so I had a wander down to Beach Road, had a walk along the front taking a few photographs. After taking photographs and wandering around, I looked at the time and it was getting on towards four o'clock. So I headed towards Salel de Siam on Cybercow where I knew Clark would be sunbathing. I entered the complex, passed the guard, he lifted up the barrier and I headed towards the swimming pool. And sure enough there was Clark listening to his music. So I tapped him on the shoulder and he gave me the that he'd been disturbed. Anyway, I sat there with him chatting for a while and I decided to go and get some beef goulash soup from the, from the restaurant that uh, is sat towards the back of the swimming pool. Clark came and joined me, got himself a pineapple drink or something like that and we chatted away. Paid the bill and headed back towards the hotel. As we got onto Cyber Cow, I said to Clark, oh, I just remembered, um, I won't be meeting you tonight, pal. I'm going to meet the girl from Charlie Place Hotel, uh, the girl I was talking to last night, you know, the one in the white dress. So I'm going to meet her. No, you're not, he says. What, what are you on about? A bar finder for tonight. You are? Yeah, I've already bar finder. I went back last night chatting to her and paid the bar for today. So I'm meeting her at seven. I was shocked. What, what, what have you done that for? You knew I was gonna take a ball in. Because I can. I was lost for words. Why had he done it? All the girls in Patea, and he'd gone and bar find a girl that he knew I was going to go back for tonight. I just said, what, what have you done that for? You, because I can't get over it. We walked back towards the hotel in silence. Inside I was absolutely seething. I couldn't believe that he'd gone and done that. It wasn't the girl. I know there was many, many girls. It was the principal. It was the principal that I had picked this girl and liked her I was looking forward to taking her out and he'd gone behind me back and arranged to meet her. Can't blame the girl, she's working, but I can blame him. So, as we got to the hotel, we made our way to our different rooms and that was it. I went out on my own that night. The thing is, has he done anything wrong? 
Has he done anything wrong knowing that I was going to take that girl? Has he done it for a bit of one-upmanship, a bit of gamesmanship? I would never do anything if I was with someone and they said he was going to go with a girl or they like this girl, fair play. But I wouldn't do anything like that. I think it was a bit underhand, a bit sneaky. But it's, it's been done. It was done obviously quite a long time ago. I've been on holiday with him since. Um, quite a few times. I've got my own back on a number of occasions. But only because he drove me to it with the actions what he did that night. So, if you want to leave a comment, has he done anything wrong? What are your feelings about what he's done? And just leave a comment if you want to, if you don't, fair enough. But that incident between us, between me and Clark, is now famously known as the Sal incident. Thanks for watching. Thank you.